I do you want me to dance for the camera? What is it? Dance hey, puppet monkey. Puppet master. What the <laughs> you want? <laughs> this is not a PG rated <laughs> review. We are here at uh, Mount Norquay, the Quay of the Nor. Jill Caskey, that one, you came up with that one. The beautiful Cascade Mountain behind us. I'm testing the Forza 60. It has a big, long, fancy name, but Forza 60 is its uh, street name. Now, the Forza 60, um, I don't know if Rosnyal necessarily wants us to talk about the predecessor of the Forza 60, but the for predecessor to the Forza 60 was an okay ski. It was just like, you know, middling. It was, I don't want to use too many car analogies. It was the Honda Accord of skis. Good, good value, whatever. This is like, my God, they took it up a notch. Now, uh, the Forza 70, more angulation for Forza 60, less angulation. I believe that's what it stands for. I don't know if I'm right or not. Just got off the Forza 70, which you probably just watched the review on that one as well. And night and day, both super fun, really, really uh, great skis. Um, interesting, they both have the same turn radius. They're both a 13 meter. But when you get on this one, you really, really have to hold that edge if you want to experience that radius. But actually, really what happened is I got a lesson in, uh, in skiing when I was on these skis. Apparently, I don't know how to ski that well. I'm very much a free skier, so these kind of took me to school. But that's good. That's what they're for. They're uh, definitely a carving ski. 13 meter radius. Um, you know, actually, truth be told, I couldn't get them to do that, so I'm doing something wrong. But uh, these skis are really, really damped very heavy in terms of you know not too heavy to handle obviously it's just the regular ski but uh really really stick to the snow and we have some awesome testing conditions today and i want to be careful about this because it's outdated analogies but this would be the gs to the forza 70s slalom the tip is a little bit more elongated and i feel at least to me, that this ski is quite stiffer. I got in a bit of trouble. We were skiing moguls on North American. And, you know, I was just kind of sloughing. Usually I'll be able to bend a ski. I'm 185 pounds. Usually I'll be able to bend a ski between two moguls. This thing, I bent it and it went boing. And it was quite the, <laughs> you know, I wasn't expecting that at all. I wasn't expecting a Rosignol to kick me. And I wasn't expecting a Rosignol to ski so firmly planted. But if you just want to sit on a groomer and just carve a day away, man, this thing is super rewarding, super fast. Um, you can really push it well beyond what you're probably comfortable with doing. But um, if you want to say push snow or skid turns, it's no problem at all. I, we just came down a pretty aggressive mogul run and it just, it just meant I had to be more engaged. I found with the other Forza that you had a little more room for air. With this one, I just had to work it a little bit more. But man, on the groomers, you feel like a hero, like a full-on rock star on the ski. Once I got the hang of it, they really turned on for me. 13 meter radius, so they're super fun and just uh, poppy, I guess, but you know, not up and down poppy. You are glued to the snow. This is very much a damped uh, carving ski, meant for groomers, meant for days like today where haven't had a lot of new snow, but the snow is really just spectacular. These skis performed really well once I was able to figure out how to really roll on that edge. Um, yeah, they, they're true to their name, the 60 degree. We're supposed to, uh, that's the angle of the skier. And uh, yeah, definitely the lower and the more power you drive into those skis, the more they perform for you. You can really uh, dig, dig deep into those turns. This is a spectacularly damped ski and a pretty strong ski. Um, it is not for the faint of heart. Um, don't think that, don't, and I was having my this conversation with Chris in the chair, these numbers and these flexes do not mean that it's because there's a 70 that the 60 is less of a ski. I wish the ski manufacturers would stop using numerical uh, designations. In skis, it seems like people just wanna buy the biggest number. My boots, unless they're 130s, are no good. I got a if 110? Oh my god, that's that's a shitty boot. The 70 is better than the 60. Not at all. The 60 is a different ski, and I wish they called it something else. Because even when you put them together, their profiles aren't the same. 
but people are not going to buy the 60. They're going to go to the 70 and they think the 60 is a lower end ski. The 60 is a stiffer ski, I believe, and the 60 is more made for longer turns. And also, more importantly, I think the 60 is more for the classical skier. The skier that's a little bit old school, skis with his feet a little bit closer together. Doesn't do the two knees, two thing, two skis, two knees, two skis thing as much and pivots a bit of his turn. That's the 60. This is a 171. I'm 165 pounds, 5'8", and it's a perfect length. Like it's, uh, I would have thought something like this, maybe go a little bit uh, shorter. It's got a pretty long effective edge on it, um, which is what you feel when you're in that turn and you, you can tell that you got it, you're sitting on the edge and that turn is, is wide. But man, super fun ski. I highly recommend uh, Into the Quiver. I recommend this ski, Intermediate, Advanced, Expert, upwards of that area. Just because it, it's, uh, it's aggressive when you're on edge, but it's super rewarding when you're on edge. So, um, if you're if you're afraid to go fast this is not the ski for you so if you're a skier you know primarily skiing in eastern uh, canada or eastern us you'll you'll love this ski and for all of those this is uh we're filming in 2023 we've had actually a pretty bad snow year uh california is getting all of our snow but this is the ski that I want this year, you know? I want something else in my quiver that's gonna be fun on days where, yeah, the snow's not perfect, and yeah, there hasn't been a dump overnight, so I wanna pull out these skis and maybe make skiing interesting again for myself, because sometimes, as a free ride skier, maybe I get a little bit uh, lazy, a little comfortable, a little backseat. These skis really uh, make you turn on and actually give the legs some nice, uh, some nice blood flow, so it was a good time on these Rosie Mill skis.